Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make star trails in Photoshop. So star trails are basically where you take a very uh, a long exposure photo. Uh, it can be a long exposure photo or uh, short bursts and photos and uh, stitched together. But mainly it's long exposure photos of the night sky and as the uh, camera is taking the photo over you know, 10, 20, 30, almost an hour, even more than that, uh, at a time, the, the, the earth is spinning. So the, the stars will start to move and it makes star trails similar to the photos that are showing now. And so if you're uh, kind of a lazy photographer, like I am, maybe you want to do, uh, light trails in Photoshop and post, uh, and you can do this with any image you like. And so I have this image right here. And first, the thing we need to do is make an action, a Photoshop action that will do the star trails for us. And so, uh, one thing you need is a picture of the the sky here this is a generated a Photoshop generated star sky here you can zoom in see little dots and and, and stars and stuff uh, this was created only using Photoshop so if you want to learn how to make this make sure you check out the video on the sleek lens YouTube channel called uh, how to add stars to your photos this will show you how I made this star sky right here and so you need this uh, this kind of uh, typical sky here a whole bunch of small dots and all you're gonna do is take the sky and drag it on top of your photo that you're gonna edit with so you can see it's fairly large so I'm gonna uh, do a transform here and then just kind of scrunch it in a little bit to right around there all right, and so now I need to make the action. And so uh, the first thing you need to do to make this action is go to Window, Actions, and you can see a list of all the actions here. Here are all the Sleek Lens actions that you can get at sleeklens.com. Uh, but I'm gonna make my own here, so I'm gonna click the New Action button here, and uh, I'm gonna label it Star Trail. And then I'm gonna make the set. I'm gonna put it uh, anywhere I want to. I'm just gonna put it in the default actions here in a folder. And uh, then I can just click record. And so it's not actually recording time-wise, it's recording each step that you do. And so now here's where I, here's where the magic comes in for the star trails. So I'm just gonna slide this over here, get rid of that. And so the first thing we need to do is change the blend mode. We need to take the blend mode of the star, star layer here. We need to change that to lighten. And you can see we have little dots already showing in. Uh, it kind of looks like stars up in the sky, which is actually kind of cool because that's an easy way to add stars to your, your photos right there. But now we need to make the stars rotate. And so to do this, I'm going to click Commander Control T, and that'll bring up the transform box. And you can see this little uh, button right here. This will allow you to change the degree of the photo. And the degree of the photo in this particular photo is very crucial. You need to change it to 0.1 right there and now uh, before we click uh, uh, enter or done or anything this make sure you pay attention to this little cross here this little cross here is the rotation point of your photo so I can make basically make this rotate around any part of the image that I want to uh, think of this as the north star in the sky the north star never moves so if, if you want it to rotate around the north star picture picture this cross here as the north star so I'm gonna just put it right over here maybe and so now everything will rotate around this point just like this. Instead of it being in the middle, it's going to rotate around this point. And so I have it at point one, and we're good to go. So I'm going to click Enter. And so that is uh, the, the basics of the preset. So now all of, uh, the only thing I'm going to do next is just duplicate the layer. All right, and then now I can end the preset. So I'm just going to go back into my preset window here and click Stop. And so now I have my preset ready to go. So you can see I have all of this stuff here. So I'm going to go and get rid of this one. I'm going to go and get rid of uh, that extra one that I did. So here are the stars now. And so to make the actual star trails, go back into your actions. And all you're going to do is click on the star trail action that you made and just play it. Now when you click it a couple times, it's not going to act like it does anything. It's going to be very minimal, but that's what you need to make star trails. So I'm just going to keep clicking till I get the desired effect that I want. And as I click each individual time, you can see the stars start to form. So I'm going to stop it right around there. I clicked it pretty pretty good amount of times here almost 50 times and so I have all of these images and you can you could go farther if you wanted you can keep clicking and make full circles if you wanted to uh, but I'm gonna stick right here and so this is my uh, this is my star trail action that I made and you can keep it and apply it to all kinds of different photos like this um, so the next step here just to kind of do a little uh, tidying up here is to take all of these star layers 
and I'm just going to group them all together. So I'm going to highlight them all and click, click Command or Control G. And that's going to put them all into one group. See, now they kind of uh, are all there and uh, all, all organized and everything. So uh, I need to clean up down here. I, I, I got to make it look like it's behind the mountain. So one easy way to do that is to click the adjustment layer right here, get a black brush, and paint away all the stuff at the bottom. There we go. All right, so everything is ready to go, and that's pretty much it uh, to make it look like a star trail photo. Uh, you can see the stars kind of moving around, and again, if you kept clicking and clicking and clicking, it would it generally just go ahead and start making full circles, which sometimes that's the effect you want, but sometimes you just want it to look like it's part way, part way star trail, and it's just kind of rotating around a certain point. And so this, this is the before. And this is after, and you can make more edits after this. And this is kind of the general way to make star trail photos in Photoshop. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll see you in the next video.